Okay, I, I just cleaned the cage, so here we go. Starting at the very top, we have the space pod with Kim and Tane. She doesn't like it when I pet her. <laughs> she does when she's relaxed right now. She's in exploring mode. Um, over here we have a bird perch. The, ca the cage came with a lot of bird perches, so you'll see those all around. It also came with this big rope that goes all the way through the cage. So yeah, we have our space pod over here. Down here right below is a basket. They kind of will use this basket to get to the space pod. And over here we have a rope hammock. I had an actual like proper hammock over here, but um, it smelled like pee really bad. So I switched it out for this just for the week. Maybe in a few days if they don't use it. Hello. Um, then down here we have one of the shells that came with the cage. This is a toy I made. Oh, I wouldn't call it a toy, but there are treats at the bottom of the box and I stuffed it with the tissues so they can tear through that. Then back there is a litter box. If you are using fleece like I am, I'd recommend litter boxes so that all the poop is contained. You're grooming yourself. Um, over here is a lava ledge. I also have a lava ledge on the door as well so that they can get between the hammocks. And then this little wooden ledge here. Um, then this this basket here. So normally what they do is they'll like climb up into the bowl to the basket to there. Um, yeah, down here's our other shelf with a little rope toy down there. And someone in the shoe box, I just had a, sh I just filled a shoe box full of like magazines and stuff. So they're gonna love tearing through that, right? Oh. So yeah, that's like the first half of the cage. Um, I also have like beads there for them to chew on. They never seem to <laughs> use that, but I keep it in there because it's cute. Um. If we work our way down, we have this like chain of baby things that I put in, the rope from the top still going. Um, I told myself that I won't have a lot of bells in the cage and this is the only bell and I barely even hear it at night, so. They're actually pretty quiet. Are you, are you having fun? Yeah, I just put them back in like 10 minutes ago. So we have the ramp leading down. The cage actually has two ramps, but I only have this one in. Um, hello. Then I'm holding down the fleece with weight plates uh, because the binder clips wouldn't really slide in as easily. And then there's a wooden ladder that came with clips, but I had to zip tie it because the clips broke. Stayed in the cage. And then over there I have the food dish, water bottle with a rock. Do not. <laughs> and then I have this. I have no clue where this came from. I don't really remember. But, um, do not. <laughs> But um, yeah, it's just a little cave that I made. And back there I have um, what used to be the tank for my stick insects till they died. Um, but I just filled it with like torn magazines. And here's some toys and another litter box back there. Yeah. And then I obviously have newspaper under the fleece. Yeah. It's not a very exciting cage, but you know, they like it. Stop. She figured out that she can go under the cage and so she likes being under there. So she's done it twice actually when I had the door open. So. Yeah. There it is. <laughs>